Hey everyone, welcome back to your bed doctor. If you're new here, I am Dr. Natasha Kowe, Lifestyle Development Officer and this channel is all about guidance on veterinary science as a career. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss any of our updates. And if you enjoy today's content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Is veterinary science a right choice for you? In a 2007 study, when students were asked, would you consider working with animals as a job or career, for example, as a vet? So the results were 20% said yes, 37% said no, 28% were not sure, said maybe, and don't know, not stated, 15%. Next, it was asked, intention to study science at A level compared to views about working with animals. So first was, would consider a career with animals? 34% yes, 15% no, 42% maybe, and 10% don't know. Next was, maybe consider a career with animals? 18% definitely. 19% definitely not, 46% maybe and 14% don't know. And third was would not consider career with animals. Yes, 20%, definitely not, 30%, 39% maybe and 11% don't know or stated. So this was a situation when a student were asked about their intention to study veterinary science and working with the animals for a future career options. Is veterinary science good for you? In today's video, we are going to talk about the career options in veterinary science with most of the real life photos, how good or bad is career, final video whether to go for veterinary science. So without a further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we'll talk about how to get admission in BBSC and AH. If you're general in OBC, you have to get 50% marks in HSC and 47.5% marks if you belong to SC and ST in your 12th. Next is need qualified with a nice score. Third, there is an interest in veterinary science and pets. So the most important getting into admission in BBAC and AH is your interest level. If you're not that much interested working with animals, it will be difficult task to complete the graduation with five and a half years of course. So next is availability of seats in the government university. So when you're applying, there should be availability of seats in your interested universities. Next is opting for private veterinary college. So if you are that much interested in getting into veterinary science, even if you are not getting into government university, are you interested to get into private veterinary college for the sake of getting into admission, BVSC and AH? So all these criteria are important when you decide about your career in veterinary science. Starting with veterinary science subjects, let me tell you about the syllabus that is mentioned in MSV Education 2016 rules. So this is a list of subjects which you have to study when you get into veterinary science as a degree. So first is veterinary anatomy, next is veterinary physiology, veterinary biochemistry, veterinary pharmacology and toxicology, veterinary parasitology, veterinary microbiology, veterinary pathology, veterinary public health and epidemiology, animal nutrition, animal genetics and breeding, livestock production and management, livestock products technology, veterinary gynecology and obstetrics, veterinary medicines, veterinary surgery and radiology, veterinary and animal husbandry extension, veterinary clinical practices, livestock farm practices. So all these are the subjects which are involved in five and a half year of course. So let's get into the most important question. Once you are done with BVSC and AH, what are the future options after the BVSC and AH course? The first of all it is the Masters in Animal Sciences or Veterinary Science in Government or National University through ICR. So when you are in third year or fourth year, you have to prepare for an ICR examination, which is an Indian Council Agriculture Research Examination, which gets you into the admission for national universities as well as the other state universities. Next is PhD in respective subjects. After you've completed a master's in a particular subject, the next option could be a PhD in respective subject that will further help you to get into assistant professor and associate professors. Next is private companies like Godrej, Saguna, Premier, Chicks, Venkis, etc. 
there are various number of companies which hire the BVSC and DH freshers as well as the MVSC freshers into the private companies at a very nice job packages and also at a very nice post. Next you can have is veterinary doctors at pet clinics. If you belong to a particular city which is a metropolitan city, a big city, there are very big pet clinics where you can join as a veterinary doctor. Next is research scholar at various laboratories for a particular research purpose. You can get into some laboratories for a particular period of time for like one year, two year, you can have a contract and you can help them in getting into research. So first was Master in Animal Sciences or Veterinary Sciences in State Government or National University through ICR. So you can see there are my photos. I have studied in National Dairy Research Institute, Masters in Animal Physiology. So when you are studying in National University, you get more of opportunities. When you come out of the university, there are many ample amount of opportunities you get. So I'll consider Masters in Animal Sciences as the best option you can do just after BBSC and EH. So there are National Research Institute and there is Indian Veterinary Research Institute which are the national universities and other universities are respective state universities. Next is PhD in respective subjects. So as you can see there are students which have passed into various subjects from a particular university that is National Dairy Research Institute and they have got into respective subjects after the master they have got a PhD degree. Next are the private companies. So after getting into BVSC and AH or after you've done with masters, you can get into private companies where there are companies for pharmaceuticals, food manufacturing and various other companies. So you can join after your graduation. Next is government veterinary doctors at veterinary clinics and hospitals. So there are veterinary clinics and hospitals. So you can see these are my batchmates and my juniors. So these are the real people which are a veterinary doctors at government hospitals and clinics. Next is you can get into research scholar at various laboratory for a contractual period of time for like one year, two year, you can get into various laboratories and you can help in getting the research done and you may be getting research papers done on the laboratories and that will help you further growing in your career. Next some options are what are after BVS and H other than livestock development officer through MPSC. If you belong to Maharashtra state, it's Maharashtra Public Service Commission. Respectively, there are other state service examinations where you can get into veterinary officers and veterinary surgeon respectively. Next is veterinarian at a dairy companies like Amul, Mother Dairy, etc. Next is animal nutritionist and nutrition expert at animal feed manufacturing companies. Then is assistant professors at government and private veterinary colleges, teaching associate, research associate, senior research fellow, junior research fellow. So you can see these are my photos. I am so I am a livestock development officer and I have got into this service through Maharashtra Public Service Commission. So you can see this photo of livestock development officer 2022 batch. Next is veterinarian at dairy companies. So many dairy companies hire veterinarian for the diagnosing treatment and health of the animals which they rear in their own farms. Next is animal nutritionist. So there are many feed manufacturing companies which hire animal nutritionist, which help them to formulate rations, formulate the feed according to the animal needs. So this is where you can also get into after graduation or after master. Next is the assistant professor at government and private veterinary college as you can see these photos are from Nagpur veterinary college that is my graduation college so if you are done with masters your phd you can get into assistant professors at a government university or if you are interested you can get into private colleges after masters then further options are research fellow at state and central funded projects then microbiologist at vaccine production lamp Extension Officer at Panchayat Samiti, Entrepreneur, Own Dairy, Poultry, Goat Farm, Feed Manufacturing Company, Farm Managers at Government and Private Farms. So you can see there are some say state and central funded projects for a particular period of time. So you can go into research fellow for some years and then you may be 
getting jobs in the labs or also you can apply for other jobs as well next is microbiologist at vaccine production lab so if you're a microbiologist veterinary microbiologist you can help them making vaccines so, so if you are interested into vaccine production a production and you are into veterinary microbiology as a subject you can go for baking vaccine production next is extension officer at panchayat samiti so the main important function of extension officer is to create awareness among the public or the mass so you can get into masters in veterinary extension and you can become an extension officer at panchayat samiti which will help the people to get more knowledge about the schemes and the government functions government how does the government trying to help the people and the farmers you can be a person who will be knowing all these things and you can convey it to the public next is your own company you can be an entrepreneur you can own your own dairy farm poultry farm goat farm feed manufacturing company so once you are done with bbsc and dh or you have done a masters in any nutrition subject any poultry any livestock production management ka degree so you can get into an entrepreneur so you don't require a particular masters degree for being an entrepreneur you can do it after bbsc and dh next is farm managers at government and private farm so if you are uh, done with livestock production management subject you can get into farm managers at government and also some private farms so in many private farms they also take people after bbsc and dh degree so you can join according to the farm's criteria next is private pet clinic and pet store animal breeding expert for purchase of pets consultant for livestock owners in feed manufacturing insurance companies etc then you can be a pharmacologist in medicine producing pharmaceutical companies like veer back vetchina etc and the next is trade service mpsc and central service exam mean that is upsc so these are my batchmates they have a private pet clinic and pet store so you can see if after you're done with veterinary medicine veterinary surgery or even after you get into bvsc and dh and you completed your degree you can own your private pet clinic and you can start a pet store along with it next is animal breeding expert for purchase of pets Now, nowadays people are getting aware of owning a pet and also the breeding about the animals so if you are an expert in animal breeding and genetics you can be a expert for telling them about how to purchase a pet at a very early stage and what are the procedures when you have to take care during the breeding stage next you can be a consultant for livestock owners feed manufacturing insurance company etc where you can give your knowledge regarding the veterinary science so you can help the livestock owners how to rear the animals how to manufacture feed and how to work when there is an insurance company problem or you can help them to get into any insurance so you can be a consultant for livestock owners and all next is pharmacologist in medicine producing pharmaceutical companies if you have done veterinary pharmacology and toxicology you can get into pharmaceutical companies who create medicines for animal next is the state service and uh, central service examination so for getting into state services and upsc the minimum eligibility criteria is getting into any graduation so if you are done with your graduation bvsc and dh you can take your optionals as veterinary sciences you can give exams of maharashtra public service commission or you can give exams of union public service commission as veterinary sciences an option or you can also choose any other options in upsc and mpsc next star in army the captain post in remount veterinary corps in army then assistant commandant post in border security force indo tibet and water police veterinary officer at a government slaughterhouse municipal corporation in cosmopolitan cities like mumbai pune etc you can be a wildlife veterinarians or zoo in charge so you can see there are remount veterinary corps special corps in army which treat the animal and take care of the animal in army so you can be a veterinary doctor and a captain post in a remount veterinary corp next is you can give the exams of border security force and and also indo tibet and border police so you can get into assistant commandant post from a veterinary science background next you can get into veterinary officer at government slaughterhouse when or a municipal corporation in cosmopolitan cities like mumbai pune etc where you will get very nice salary and the 
slaughter house officers are high earning jobs next is wildlife veterinarians or a zoo in charge so as a wildlife veterinarian you know the have the perks with working with the forest officers and going deep into the forest and that can be an exciting and interesting job to do and you will be working handling the wild animals so i think this is a very good option after bvsc and ah or if you are going into medicine veterinary medicine so this is a very good option so as you can see these photos are real photos these are my juniors and batchmates so they are handling the wild animals so i think this is very impressive job a career in veterinary science can be rewarding and fulfilling for those who are passionate about animal health and welfare so what is veterinary science veterinary science is the branch of medicine that deals with the prevention diagnosis and treatment of diseases disorders and injuries in the animals it encompasses a wide range of species including the domestic pets livestock wildlife and exotic animals so some skills and qualities are required if you are interested into being a veterinarian first is compassion you should have a strong desire to help animals and their owners next is communication you should have the ability to explain the medical conditions and treatment to pet owners and collaborate with other veterinary professionals next is problem solving diagnosing the health issues and developing the effective treatment plans next is manual dexterity skillful hands on ability for performing surgeries and other procedures resilience ability to handle the emotional and physical demands of the job next we'll be talking about the pros and cons of this career first is pros so rewarding work helping animals and their owners diverse career opportunities and specializations high demand for veterinary sciences cons are long and rigorous educational path emotional and physical demand of the job and the potential for student loan debt from a veterinary school so a career in veterinary science offers the opportunity to make a significant impact on animal health and welfare it requires dedication hard work and a genuine passion for animals but the rewards of helping animals live healthy lives can be immensely satisfying if you are committed to the field veterinary science can be a deeply fulfilling career path so thanks for sticking around until the end of the video i hope you found veterinary science as a career useful and enjoyable if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to your vet doctor and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos also leave a comment down below with your thoughts or any questions you have i'd love to hear from you remember to follow me on whatsapp telegram and instagram for more updates and behind the scenes content until next time take care keep loving animals bye bye see you in the next video